My name is Untel of the Voice. So, it is an early morning here in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa. Of course, it's a working day, and uh, that's why you're seeing people going to work right now. So, today, um, I'm expecting to meet uh, Brownie Kago. Uh, so, but uh, because it's morning, you know, I have to do a few things first of all. Then later on, I'll try and connect with her so that I know what time are we supposed to meet. So, I don't know uh, how the day, is, uh, the day is going to be, but uh, just hoping uh, we're going to meet and make some beautiful videos, man. Thank you so much, guys. You know, last videos were so amazing and the response was so good. And, you know, uh, people like the video and say, man, you should mo do more and more, more, more videos together. And I think we have got that chemistry, you know, and um, we shall be doing videos together. So, yeah, here it is, man. You see people are going to work, all these man, people are going to work right now in Kenya, Nairobi. So, okay, I've seen something. Let me go and experiment. I want to experiment. Uh, I've been told uh, most people who sell these uh, Burundis. Let me try. Ça va, monsieur? Tu comprends français? Vous comprenez français? Français. Yeah. C'est ça. Oh, vous êtes burundais? Congo. Oh, Congo. OK. Ni saidie ya party. So the day begins, the day begins. So, so this one is 30, this is close to 30 cents in dollars. Okay, merci once you. <laughs> okay, so he's a, he's a Congolese, not a Burundian actually. So I bought this one just to experiment if it was a Burundian because what I know right now, there's so many Burundians um, coming to Kenya or maybe working in Kenya, also Congolese. Mostly you're going to find them uh, in barber shops and uh, selling of these, uh, maybe sugar cane or maybe things like mandazi. What is mandazi in English? I don't know mandazi in English. Um, the one that I've shown, I've just shown you. So I was just experimenting. But when the um, Burundi actually joined the East African community, I saw many Burundians. Actually, many Burundians are actually in Kenya right now. After immediately after Burundi joined the East African community, that's a good thing, man. We want this thing when Africa to come together, you know, join and be one beautiful country, you know. Yeah, that, that are good steps, man. And uh, you know, Burundi is considered as the poorest country, of which I don't believe actually. But um, if Burundians can come to Kenya and do these jobs that Kenyans don't like, of course, Kenyans Kenyans love themselves so much. Huh? Kenyans don't love uh, casual jobs mostly. That's why early morning like this, seeing people going to office. But uh, they come and do amazing job. Even when you go to the barber shops, Congolese actually, and uh, Burundians are very good at, you know, uh, these barber shops making hair. Amazing job, man. They do some wonderful jobs there. Yeah, so actually, these odd jobs, not odd actually, casual jobs mostly, that Kenyans don't like, actually you're going to find uh, Congolese and also Burundians, Ugandans doing them. Yeah, so Kenya, you know, is the capital of Africa. So everybody's coming here. Yeah, and of course, um, Kenya is the biggest, uh, the biggest economy in um, East Africa. So you expect things like those want to cross. See a zebra crossing here. Yeah, so you expect things like that. All right, guys, uh, I'm headed somewhere, uh, hoping to meet Brownie Caro today. So, yeah, let's go. So, I've arrived in Donholm. I'm trying to reach out to Brownie, see if we can get her right now. I'm calling her. Hey, Nimefika. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Yeah, that's Caltex, Caltex. I'm told, yeah, excuse me, the total. 
Yeah, I'm there. I don't want to tell you the name. So that's where I'm going to meet. Uh, I'm going to meet uh, Brownie. So let's go. Now we're getting set. You're going to the court that I'm supposed to meet uh, Brownie. So I took a bike. Now we, I think we headed this way. So let's go. You want to be traffic in Nairobi, you just have to use your bike. Uh, the traffic is already, you know, building up and uh, it's almost raining, I can say. It's almost raining. So, actually using the bike uh, is the best option right now to, if I want to go as fast as possible. Alright, let's go. So, I have arrived. Ah, great. She got some good. Sorry, sorry. So, I have arrived. And um, now we're waiting for Brownie. You gonna have not called her. Let me call her. I don't know if, if she's in this building or any other place, but uh, let me call her first. Because you're supposed to proceed somewhere else, but I don't know what's your plan or what's next after this. But you're supposed to proceed on to somewhere else. Uh, let me just call her right now. So that at least you know if I'm in the right place or not. Yeah, me and Brownie. Calling Brown. Hello. Yeah. In Africa. Yeah. I've arrived. Yeah. Blue. 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 All right. All right. So I was supposed to go to a blue building and I'm not seeing any blue buildings right now. So she told me let me let him come down so that he can be able to see her. So let's wait. So I'm still waiting for Brownie. Uh, let me try. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to know how I'm going to greet her. Hello beautiful. Hello beautiful. Alright. Okay. There she is. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, how are you? Hello, beautiful. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Karibu kwetu. Good, 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 good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, sure. How, 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 how is your, uh, how is your week so far? Sorry, 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 sorry. 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 I know you're clean, like you're almost wrapping up the work then. I know. And, and you know it's a rainy season in Nairobi right now. <laughs> Sorry. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if you are cleaning? Yeah. Like maybe the stairs, like right now, right? Yeah, sure. Maybe your work, your work is to clean the stairs. Yeah. Like just as you finished, yeah. Somebody else, someone, someone else comes, and, and then <laughs> in another, the same person walks down again. Yeah, just crazy. Maybe they have forgotten something. Crazy, crazy. Sorry, our lifts are not working today. Oh. Yeah, and the maintenance. All right. So we have to do this. Good exercise. Good exercise, indeed. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, here we are with uh, Brownie. A lot of stories that we are going to share with you oh today, my God, man. Today, 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right everything we are there yeah. so i don't want you to see the number why should you see the number for this house but <laughs> so house number. sure 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 so all right stories from somalia small uh, i mean stories from beautiful brownie i'm going to share with you amazing stories man you can't wait but for now have a wait yo so you know inside it was a little bit uh, darker or right, a, a little bit dark or darker for people who are quite conversant with the queen's language you can tell darker, darker. Yeah. all right so yeah so we're here at the balcony uh just watching all this beautiful estate here just you know enjoying the views 
So I, I want to, you know, I was so curious, man. Like, what 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 was the first? Imagine your first day in Somalia. You have just landed. What was going on in your mind that time? Oh my God! By the way, I can still remember. Like, as if it was yesterday. And I think it was actually my first ever time yeah. to fly like outside the country. Wow. You know. Yeah. And to say me do like internationally, because that is <laughs> that is another nation. Yeah, you know? sure, so sure, it was sure. so nice. Yeah. I remember I, I had not actually now by the way, let me tell you guys, yeah. if you ever travel somewhere, you make sure you have Googled first the place. Like yeah. to do the whole research. <laughs> Your research first. I'd never researched. So <laughs> me I was excited, I was just going yeah. and then I will tell you later how I landed I yeah. landed the job in Somalia. Mm. Yeah, sure. So when I got there, yeah. I had I remember I had dressed in a in a very nice jeans. Yeah and some white high heels yeah. <laughs> and some white <laughs> t-shirt and another jacket on like not a jacket like a, a top yeah but it was a very light top okay sure. yeah so when i landed there i was like why is it this hot where am i and you're the old one out actually <laughs> i was literally the old one out i was in, i had not covered my head wow. everyone else in the plane had covered their head and i was like what is going on <laughs> So when I got there, even at the airport, everyone was looking at me. They're like, who, who? But then I, I also, I, I don't know why they do that. And yeah. the white people would come there with their hair on, yeah, sure, with their sure. jeans. Mm. And they don't give them so much attention. Okay. The way they gave me or the way they gave, they give us. Yeah. So from that time, I always go, you know, I try to be modest a little bit. Yeah. Just to, to, to blend in with the yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. But that was my reaction. First of all, my reaction was about the heat. Yeah, sure. You know? And then about how I had It is so hot that is, huh? Oh my God. I've hot. never been in Somalia, so I don't know anything much about it's Somalia. Hot. I have just interacted with Somali people, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the northern part of the country while doing documentaries, but actually being in Somalia, I've never been in Somalia. You should go one day. I uh, think it's, a, it's a very good place. Yeah, sure. A lot of people would want to know about that place because it's a very virgin country wow. and it's very rich. Wow. But okay, the heat, it is not like that extraordinary heat. It yeah. is the normal heat that normally found, that's normally found at the beach. You know, oh, as the coastal oh, area. Like the coastal. Yes. But so you, Mogadishu is uh, in, um, yeah, in, in the coastal a, region. Yeah, so it's just like in Mombasa. Yes, it's just wow, like in Mombasa. Wow. Because that is also the Indian Ocean. Yes. Wow. And then it is a bit, um, there's not too much wind, so it's yeah. humid. It is just, wow. the heat is just chilled like wow. that. Wow. So that, and then coming from Nairobi, definitely, yeah. and it was a cold season in Nairobi because I remember it was around August, there, July. August yeah? is very cold in Nairobi. Exactly. It's our winter, actually. Exactly. So yeah, when sure. I went there, I was like, <laughs> I was actually <laughs> culture shocked and the weather shocked at the same time. Well, it was cool. Yeah. I actually had a very good time. Yeah. I, if I could remember I had a So how did you how did you like, you know, um uh, you know, um uh, dissolve do you say dissolve or maybe adapt to the culture? I mean you have not gone with clothes there, <laughs> you don't know the culture that is and you're finding like everything new. So how did you man, maybe, you know, uh adapt to that environment okay one thing i can say it wasn't easy to adapt first yeah. and foremost it yeah. was never easy to adapt because yeah. we were in like a small area yeah sure like in a perimeter in a perimeter wall where it is a very small area yeah, where sure. you can when you ca where you can actually interact with interact with people from yeah. all over the world yeah. and it was actually really not really hard to adopt yeah. you know yeah because Okay, for my case, it was mm. not hard because mm. there was no one time I could go outside the gate. Mm -hmm. I actually stayed where we were at the airport. Yeah. And it is a surrounded area. It's a manned area, like okay. a gated community thing wow. for like three years before wow. I left outside. Like I went outside. Wow. But my so what, what, what was the reason actually you staying there without going, going out? I just want to understand that. Okay, you know... That is what we, we used to be told, that this is the only safe area, so okay. you cannot leave the gate. Once you leave the gate, you're not going to come back. Yeah. You know, that's what we used to, to be told. Yeah. Until you actually just take a little bit of faith and actually leave that gate and go and see what is out there and come wow. back. Wow. And that is when I started the YouTube channel, I was like, it's probably all a lie. I mean, if Man. you wanted to go, you could go, you could go to the beaches out there, you could go see the beach, how it looks wow. like and come wow. back. So there is no this, you know. Uh, this picture that the media has created that actually Somalia is like a war zone, it is quite different from that. It is totally different. It is totally different on the ground. Yes, it's a war zone. 
there's a lot of things going on yeah. but most of the things me i always see them like a, a business strategy if yeah. i don't like you and you're doing the same thing i will send the bad guys and they will mm. wow as in if you don't have any interest with the government or you don't have any interest with the bad people yeah. you're just a normal kenyan or a normal white guy walking around yeah. i don't think nobody will ask you anything wow wow yeah. and and that is what i've seen man like um I've seen most uh, a lot of YouTubers, you know, and uh, I like I like watching YouTubers since uh, because they just tell you the real, so it's not like uh, uh, a structured or, or a scripted documentary. Yeah. I say that because I understand how documentaries are made because I know how to write documentaries. I know how to shoot documentaries, and uh, sometimes like I don't like it. That's why I prefer, you know, like doing freestyle things like this because when you go to the ground talk to people you realize like these are just normal people somalis are just normal people yeah. they are just nice people and i normally tell people wherever you go in the world where whichever country that you choose you're go going to find two people is either you're going to find a bad person yeah. or a good person Definitely. and most of the time good persons are the majority then bad persons are the few yeah. but you know the media chooses you know to talk about the negativity man and there's so many beautiful stories man i've interrupted so many people from somalia or those with the origin from kenya these people are amazing and there's so much you can learn from them man. yeah from the yeah. camaraderie yeah from how they run business from their honesty and integrity at work that is just something else man well just coming back to that point of how i actually like you know got used to the environment yeah like I said, where we used to stay, it's yeah. an international area. And sure, then now sure. the locals, they would come in the morning and then wow. they would leave in the evening. Wow. So when they leave, they come back every day and like they commute. Yeah, sure. So actually my first outfit, the yeah. one that looked like, you know, made me look like a Somali. Yeah, sure. Was from a local Somali who was a colleague. And wow. she was like, hey, Caroline, just have this. Yeah. She just gifted me from nowhere. Wow. I, it was just so easy to blend in with them. It, yeah. If you're a good person, yeah. you will blend in with Somali. So easy peasy. Easy wow. Easy, by the way. Wow, 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 wow. You're wow. a good person. Wow. Yeah. It has started raining, man. Nairobi, we are in our winter in Nairobi right now. Look at those clouds, man. So it is, um, it's, it's raining actually. I don't know if my camera can show, but it's raining. It, it has started raining. Not yeah. like it's raining. But yesterday, if you saw my video, man, I was, you know, rained on. You know, rained on. <laughs> Trying to create content. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is not easy. <laughs> you know, I went to show people, you know, the landmarks of Nairobi. I that know. is Kencom. <laughs> I went to Archives, which is o o o also uh, yeah, just opposite Close, Kencom. Yeah. Then I went Kencom. to Apia Center. Those are the three main ones. Yeah. Then you can have others like, you know, Nation Center. You can have like GPO. You can have uh, what again? You can have KCC, something. This is not a, a, a landmark. People don't go there and wait for people. Oh yeah, they, definitely. Yeah. And maybe Hilton. 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 Used to say, like, oh, yeah, like, but Hilton. That's where the archives is, right? Yeah, Hilton was closed though. Hilton, Hilton was closed. No, longer no, no, no. It's Ooh. not long. Last oh, year, that is last year, last year. And like also that. Fire Station, I think. Yeah, and uh, what else? Immense House. But yeah. those are not the main. The main ones are uh, Kencom. No, uh, no. People don't go to railways nowadays. No. It is just of your center um, archives. Hey, this girl, man. You see, people are living good, man. They don't know Nairobi that much. <laughs> By the way, that that that's a big that's a big truth. I, Nairobi. <laughs> Me, I don't know Nairobi that well, to be honest. Yeah. You know, right when I finished high school, yeah, I stayed in Nairobi for like two, three, four years. Yeah. I know. I went to college first for three years mm. and then you know i was just in a in a hostel in yeah. a college yeah sure. i was actually very a staunch believer of christ by then wow you know i'm still still i am uh -huh. so i was really um then what happened know, we want to know what happened first i was you know when you actually i thank god yeah. i started when i was a staunch believer of god when yeah. i was in college because yeah, sure. can you imagine being in college and not knowing god <laughs> that, that, and then being that, like this that hey, is disastrous it's a disaster <laughs> <laughs> I was just uh, an introvert those times, wow. so I wasn't like going much to know how Nairobi looks like and all yeah. that. And then when I finished yeah, school, sure. I got a job immediately. I yeah. was working, doing some, you know, waitress mm. and all that kind of wow. stuff wow. around. Wow. 
who I like, I come from far, man. Don't yeah. see me like this. <laughs> I've come from far. And then just when I was waitressing in yeah. 2017, I left, yeah. I went to Somalia, stayed for six years. Wow. So there's no, I did not even have any time to learn Nairobi, to be honest. Oh, man. I didn't have much time to learn about Nairobi. With me now, sir, I'm just your opposite because um, <laughs> I've tamaked a lot. I, I'll say that story a lot until it's becoming a cliche. So I've tamaked a lot so, such that, yeah, mm-hmm. even when you tell me yeah uh, you can just take a picture maybe in nairobi cbd just take a picture tell me uh, i'm close to that mean? building yeah. i'll come there well, that's, uh, <laughs> even that thing happened to amaro even i saw in his video uh, he was uh, sharing with the uh, ivan ventures uh, in um were they in new york or were they in washington dc mm-hmm. i was saying you know uh, this guy who saw my picture and told me that you know he knows a lot all about nairobi yeah man i know a lot that is how i know nairobi so he took a picture then i could le- i could be able to he was not in that exact building he took a picture of a certain building and i knew opposite this building there is this building that he is right now so oh that's, yeah, how, that's how you met Ayamaru. yeah man. sure yes. sure sure crazy i know nairobi <laughs> and, then, and then you're doing the right thing and then the fact that you're so courageous even walking mm-hmm. around with camera in the streets <laughs> me first and foremost by yeah. the way i congratulate you that's a big deal thank you For thank me, you that's thank a big you deal. thank you that's a big deal. It's raining now. It's, gonna it's raining, man. Man, it's quite noisy when it rains in Nairobi. Yeah. Hey. Wow, wow. So, should we wait as we continue? Then we continue from here until the rain settles. Or the, but they can be able. The camera actually captures the voice so well, really? so they can they can just hear so we converse. Or you doubt that? <laughs> I don't doubt that. I feel like. Oh, <laughs> it's so nice. I wish they can actually be here with us, yeah. so they can feel how we are feeling right now. Wow. And then the fact that it has not rained for a very, very a long very time. Very long time since last year, this man. This is such a blessing. Yeah, sure. To me, I actually prayed for rain myself. Wow. Like I wow. told God, please, whatever we have done as people, <laughs> just forgive us. We need rain. Let it rain. Yeah. Wow. And uh, this is actually, I, I love it. See Look at how people, people are running. running. Look at that kid coming from school, from school, man. <laughs> I wish you could zoom. You see that kid, another kid, you know, man. But it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But sometimes I think rain in the other parts of Nairobi is good, but the CBD is a punishment. <laughs> yeah, raining in CBD, by the way. Uh, they, don't, they don't need rain in they CBD. They don't need rain in CBD, man. Well, that is a business area. Yeah. They don't. They are not collecting water from anywhere. Yeah. They're not farming anything. <laughs> Me, I'm actually praying that this rain can go from can go to where I'm coming from, where okay. I was raised in Fajardo Leitokto, because wow. that's where oh. we need more rains, you know? Oh. Yeah, because we farm a lot. Wow. So that's where we need more rains. But we just thank God for the rains. Whenever he decides to, to make it rain, yeah. we, we appreciate it. Yeah. Do you know I've never been in... Uh, um, I, I've been in Kajiado, of course, but now Oloitoktok town. I was just close to Oloitoktok, but I've never been in Oloitoktok. I've never been there. So what happened that actually? I was supposed to shoot um, a dog to there last uh, last uh, last uh, last year, but we had a deadline, so I had to go to shoot uh, that dog you uh, in Kilifi, as another person shoots at Oloitoktok. So that's how I missed to go at Oloitoktok. Yeah. Wow. Well done. <laughs> you have me. <laughs> if you want to go and see Mount Kilimanjaro, I got you. Wow. I told you we wake up every day to a Mount Kilimanjaro. Group. Yeah, yeah. So, so I saw I saw Mount Kilimanjaro in Moshi. When you are in Moshi, Tanzania, also you can yeah, you, you can, you, you can see. see. So that means actually Moshi to Oloitoktok Tok is not very far. No. It's not, not very far. far. At all. You use like three hundred shillings, which is almost three dollars. That is three dollars. Yeah. Man, or even or less. Or even w- less. When you come in dollars, yeah. 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 Wow. So it's, it's actually very close and. Mm. Um, Tanzanian people, you know, it's the land of Swahili. Yeah. So when you go there, you better perfect your <laughs> Swahili. <laughs> man, it was nice when I told you guys have been asking me, actually, um, in my Instagram inbox, and also some people uh, on YouTube asking, where is uh, Brownie Carol? We need more stories. Oh, so, really? yeah. Thank you, guys. I made it again to part two. <laughs> I 
made it to part two and made yeah, it to yeah, yeah. thanks to you guys. Amen. So actually just write in the comment section whatever you'd like to know about Somalia yeah. or whatever you'd like to know about me. Yeah. And we can as well do another part three of the Yeah, we are going we are to do yet, we are not done yet we actually. Done. We are not done. We have so, a long way to go. <laughs> so what do we do after okay, I know uh you you shared with me you are supposed to go somewhere. So I don't know if uh, we, we we finish the whole story from here or when we leave, we actually continue with the story. I don't know. I'm thinking since, you know, I'm, I'm at this place and we still have to go somewhere later. Yeah. We can just chill, wait for the rain to be, you know, a little bit over. Yeah. And then we can, on our way, we can just continue doing the video. All so right. So we can actually give you guys different scenes. Yeah, different scenes yeah. actually and so that you can see. <laughs> He is used to doing videos while walking. Yeah, so sure. So this one it is so uncomfortable to him. Man, I'm used to I'm used man, to walking, man. And people say I walk so fast. I don't know. Like sometimes I can, but that that one can be true, because I I, I think I walked from um, I was walking from I think railways to archives. I think with uh, like four minutes. Four minutes now, come on, with all the, the traffic of people. That I walk fast, by the way. But then if there's somebody who hates going to town, yeah. it is me. Many ladies, that don't, traffic. many ladies don't like town. Hey man, man <laughs> Nairobi, you will go there, the traffic of people's traffic. Mm, it is yeah. not even cars, yeah. people. Yeah. And then they will be hitting your shoulders and you'll be like, why are we even doing this? <laughs> is it a pass? Man, it's crazy. I always tell God, please give me so much money. Because I want to be landing in Nairobi if I have to. <laughs> if I have to, I want to land. You know? I want to have a chopper just right yeah, at the KCC. Coming, you, yeah, there is a helipad at KCC yeah. actually. You yeah. come with a chopper, helipad, but still, leaving town, another traffic, man. It's a mess. But Every you know road. When you have a chopper, there's no traffic whatsoever. <laughs> but when you come to Nairobi, there's a place that you land, but you have to, you know? You have to walk. Yeah, 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 to yeah go sure. To another place. Wow. So guys, you know, for those you know joining us for the first time, you know we have got uh, new subscribers. I'm you know chatting here with um, um, Brownie Carol two five four. Go check her YouTube channel. She has done an amazing job, man. Go check her travel video, lifestyle video. Check her videos in Somalia, man. If you want to learn anything about Somalia, I think she's uh, the one who has done an extensive video about Somalia. Oh, yeah. So go check her videos in Somalia. Amazing and also. We did a, vl a vlog before, so yeah. this is like our second vlog doing. So, people requested, man, we do another episode. So that's why I'm here today with uh, Brownie Carol doing an amazing job. Yeah, Beautiful Carol, man. So, we're waiting for the rain. As we wait, chill. maybe yeah, we chill. Yeah. Then now uh, we wait for the rains to what do you say to stop or to stop pouring a little bit. Yeah. It's actually coming now to our place. Yeah. But, uh, we can actually, you know, <laughs> you can see. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, and sure, it sure. And it's coming with so much windy. Yeah, it's windy also. Noise, so yeah, yeah. It's sure. a blessing. So we yeah. just have to carry a little bit so we yeah. can continue. So we'll continue. Just watch out, watch out, and the weights. Yeah. Know? So watch the next video. My name is Mtal The Voice. Yeah.